Here we've got a setup that includes a point of sale and physical payment devices. All retailers have to test with real devices. You can't get emulators that are effective. Eggplant is running against the iOS device. It will run against all types of devices, as we know. The reason that this matters is because it enables the testing to be done far faster, far more reliably, and far more repeatedly. Everybody wants to have a good journey, and uh, if you get there and the, there are failings, things go wrong, then you're not happy. You don't know whether it's your card that's at fault, you don't know whether it's something that you've done at fault. Everybody wants to go to the checkout, everybody wants to be relaxed as they're going through the checkout, and then they want to go home with the goods that they've bought. So here we've got a, uh, an inventory for, from a retail outlet. We've got uh, a wide variety of robotics products being sold here. Uh, within a real retailer, this would obviously be far broader. And the good thing about AI is that this enables the baskets to be varied and different journeys to be simulated. So we've got a uh, contact or contactless payment being initiated. Uh, the robots responded to this and inserted the card. Uh, it's going to synchronize on pin entry. So the pin's now being entered and then this is going to be authorized. Uh, a key part here is that the cards can vary. Uh, so we've got multiple physical cards that are available and we're going to be able to do contactless cards very shortly. And at the end of the journey, then the email receipt is issued. I think you can see from the speed of this, you'd be hard pressed to do it faster manually. It's representative of how a real user would see it because it's using the, the same technology to be able to access as a, as a user would do. And there we've got the logout. So why Eggplant? Eggplant's unique in that it works with a two-system model. And so it doesn't care what devices the, the software under test is actually running on. Uh, it can run on iOS, it can run on Android, it can run on Windows, it can run on Macs, it doesn't care. And utilising this, we've, we've seen great results. It means that uh, we can test with robotics as we do here through the APIs of the Fusion Engine, iOS, anything. And it's really exciting to see. And with the AI models built on top, we get such variation in the test cases, we just let it run and we're on a winner. Mm -hmm.